Hello and welcome to the Narc Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, my lovely lurts, and welcome back to the Narc Alert. Well, spring has sprung, the grass has risen, I wonder where anything interesting from Amber is. There doesn't seem to be much going on in Lexington, so I thought, today let's go to Florida. Let's take a Narc Alert look at the Sarah Boone case. Sarah Boone is accused of second-degree murder in the death of her boyfriend, Jorge Torres Jr., in February of 2020. Prosecutors allege that Boone zipped Torres into a suitcase and left him there for hours, which caused him to suffocate and die. Sarah Boone claims that this incident was an accident and that she and Torres were playing a simple game of hide-and-seek when he climbed into the suitcase and she zipped it closed without realizing that he could not breathe. The trial is expected to last the trial is expected to last for several weeks, and prosecutors plan to present evidence that Boone's actions were intentional and that she had motive for killing Torres. Sarah Boone's defense team is likely to argue that the incident was a tragic accident and that Sarah did not intend to harm Torres. For right now, let's take a narc alert look at Sarah Boone's interrogation. I'm going to have you sit in the green chair that doesn't move. <coughs> Appreciate you coming in. Yes, ma'am. Can I, I want to ask you about these whenever we have a moment? Sure. In an effort to try and establish some control, Sarah hands the detective a sheet of her questions. They are pushed aside. Um, so obviously, um, he received his autopsy. So, I'm going to read you your rights again. So, this morning we went to his autopsy, um, and we were informed of some injuries that he has uh, by the doctor. So, I want... Where? Um, so, he's got <coughs> scratch marks to his back. I know what that's from. Okay. And um, it's called a contusion. Do you know what a contusion is? So like basically you're getting hit and then you know you you, you get a mark from it you'll get bruising like some okay. someone hit you or something like mm -hmm. that it's called a, a contusion. So he had some injuries to his left shoulder. Um, he had um, he had a cut near his like lip. We could see we could see his um, his mouth was a little. Uh, I haven't laid a hand on him. Okay. Although she has not been accused at this point in the interview, her first response is to not react to her boyfriend's injuries, but self-preservation. It wasn't me. I, <coughs> also, too, I, he fell off my son's bike. Okay. So I don't know. And he's notorious for running into the wall okay. or the hall tree. Okay. So I. Okay. I don't, what about the scratches? Because <sighs> there's also sex? Yes. Okay, because there's also like a like a scratch on like the back of his neck, like kind of like going, but it's like going straight across. I have no idea what that's from. <clears throat> and they're all recent, like they 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 occurred recently. It wasn't something that occurred post or that occurred a week ago or two days ago, three days ago. They definitely occurred, you know, the night leading up to when he was. In all honesty, all honesty, we have not gotten into it. Okay. That's why, like. The only thing I thought you guys were going to ask me about, which I was going to be honest with you anyway, are the scratch marks on his back. Mm -hmm. Everything else, I have no idea what it is. She's painting a narrative for the detectives where she only looks good. She claims they had not gotten into it. The scratches, with her DNA no doubt, are from passion and because he walks into walls a lot. No idea what it is. Nonetheless, I've had my son over the house too, so... Well, your son was there when? When was he last there? Oh, uh, gosh. Last my week? understanding, he was there, like, last Tuesday? Last, I don't know if it was Tuesday. 
But yeah, she was there last week, so... The narcissist need to be superior and look good to all, make it easy for Sarah to attempt to throw her own son under the bus. Well, we're talking about Sunday. Yeah. We're, make, we're just talking about what occurred Sunday. And then That's why Monday. I'm thoroughly confused because <coughs> we had a good time mm -hmm. sitting on the back porch having wine and smoking a couple of cigarettes and then decided to go inside and literally paint, do puzzles, and play. Okay. I have no clue. Nobody laid a hand on anybody. He also had, um, like on the left side of his forehead, he had basically bruising, um, and um, on like his head and his skull. I have no idea. As if something hit him. I consider have not forced touched him. Trauma. I have not touched <coughs> him. I have not touched him. Once again, at this point, the detectives are asking her about his injuries, perhaps trying to see her response. No one has accused her as of yet. Then how would you get those injuries? Tell me and we'll both know. I have not touched him. I have no idea. We had a good day. Mm -hmm. It was a good day. We've had good days lately. Mm -hmm. Even considering everything that's going on with our jobs and life in general and ex-wives and everything. It's been good. Like, I don't even know where this is coming from. <coughs> yeah, I don't even know. The last physical was probably, you said, I think, what, a month ago? Maybe. Where you got the injury, right? What? You said that was I'll a month say ago? a few weeks, give or take, yeah. A few weeks? That was the last, like, physical altercation between the two of you? Um, yeah, you said a month ago he hit you with a curtain rod. Yeah, with a curtain rod. That's why I can't believe you guys didn't take that either. A month earlier, the police had been called when Jorge had attacked Sarah. Sarah is offended and surprised that while investigating the man's insane death from hours earlier, they did not collect evidence of a crime of his from a month prior to prove her a victim. <coughs> like, we've been good. I don't know if, like, it's since the last time he got out of jail. What do you mean by good? What's your definition of good? The probation officer? Oh, no, you said you guys have been good. What's your definition I've of been good. good. I don't think you all understand. He comes at me all the time. He comes at me. So it's either I flee or try to go upstairs and go to sleep. That's usually what it is. And I don't know if you talk to Brian about any of that, but most of the time when I flee, I go over there. So. The question, define how the two of you have been good, was spun into a victim tale of how hard Sarah tries and how Jorge continually attacks her. Right, but you're saying that you guys have been good, and when I asked you yesterday, there has the last incident that you could remember was the curtain rod incident, which you said was a month ago. So give or take. Right. So what do you mean by he comes after you? Like he gets belligerently drunk. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know if you all have looked through my phone yet and seen any of the pictures and the videos that I have taken. Mm -hmm. And the at one point I started documenting everything. Okay. So you all will see in my pictures, bloody fingers, split foreheads, he split my nose. I've got this. Right. I don't know if Brian told you about it, where I had to have almost what? I had one really bad surgery, but then it got really, 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 really bad, where I had to go like four or five more times afterwards for them to tend to it, mm -hmm. from him poking me in the back of the leg. Right. So it's... Then why are you still with him? Everybody asks me that. When I tell you guys this... Him. Narcissists must put you down in order to build themselves up. She cannot help herself. She has to paint herself as the victim. She claims she cannot leave as she loves him and yet has not expressed any sadness at his passing or shock at his strange injuries. Like I do, and I feel like I can help him. Like I feel like I could help him, which I did because he's come a really he came a really long way from where he was in Philadelphia to moving back to here and to dealing with everything else that he's been dealing with, mm -hmm. I've really helped him. I've bailed him out of jail, what, three times. I've gone to every single hearing and every single arraignment, everything that I did for him. Gone to see all his public defenders, go to the state, I've gone to the state. I, I did everything for him because I'm trying to help him because I had, I had hope in him. And he was trying. He was really trying. Just. And then he starts to think about things, and it just, I think he gets overwhelmed. And then it's like, the next thing you know, he's drinking. So it's like, oh, man, 
I know where this is going to go, so I'm going to go upstairs and read a book. Sarah has weaved into her story twice now that she escapes him by going to her room to sleep or read. She paints a picture of herself as his savior. He died in the suitcase while she slept soundly upstairs. I don't want to drink. The occasional wine, whatever, or if it's a weekend, that's when you, you have a good time. You don't have to wake up the next day. I have to wake up the next day and do things. I have to tend to Lucas. I have to take him to school. I have all this stuff to do. He doesn't know how to, I guess, maintain himself where I can do 50 things at once and still know the 50 things more previously, prior that I need to get done. He can't process like that. He didn't process like that. So it, he would literally, not literally, but have smoke coming out of his ears. Like most who exhibit traits of NPD, Sarah is better, smarter, more organized than her beleaguered partner. It is amazing he survived at all without her. So he always had something on his mind, which is why, again, I got the puzzles and the bank to try to get him off of it so we don't have a drink or he doesn't have a drink. So when you all see my phone, you can see all of the damage he has done to me and the videos of him smashing my television because he's belligerently drunk. St. Sarah suggests the games to help her out-of-control boyfriend stop drinking. She's not an alcoholic. I mean, you told me on the, yeah, but you told me on recording, like, that you were not drunk, he was not drunk, you guys were having I, a good time. I don't get, I can't get drunk. I, number one, I do not want to get drunk. I don't like being non compassmentous having my wits about myself. I don't like feeling out of control. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just saying, you're, you're making it sound like, like he's a raging alcoholic today, and yesterday I was kind of asking you those questions, and you're like a little defensive, like, no, we're not alcoholics. He, I'm not. We are not, you know. I you did. told us you weren't drunk. No, I was not drunk. Right. I was not drunk. So with him, I don't know. I, I know when it's like, oh, okay, man, where I have told him, slow down. It's starting to catch up with you. Slow down. Slow down. And another thing, too, is I don't like listening to music with him because he gets too involved in the music, and the music that he listens to is a little rough around the edges, and, like, just, it makes me fractious listening to his music. So I kept asking him, let's not, just, let's just you and me talk. You and me will just be the ones that are talking, which was fine, because, I mean, he, we were playing with the dog, whatever, and then it's like, okay, now let's do the painting. We just did the puzzle, took a break, now let's do this. Sure enough, sat down, we're sitting in there talking, laughing, talking about new movies, we're watching movie trailers <coughs> while we're doing painting and all that other stuff. So it's still background noise to him, because I think that's what he's used to, is having background noise. Where me, I can sit in here all day with not a peep. Consistent in her narcissistic traits, Sarah cannot say a thing about George without including how much better she is. Nobody knew George better than I did. I say that I knew George better than himself. And I tried in every way, shape, and form. Ask everyone. I helped him. I took care of him. I miss him a lot, and I didn't even sleep last night. Sarah squeezes out a tear, finally, but it's for herself at how she misses him and cannot sleep. We've yet to hear her say a word about Jorge's pain and suffering. Okay. Um, you had mentioned that you take, uh, you would take photos, videos, just kind of like a proof and just in general. Yeah, I started documenting at one point, but that was... That was way before, I think, the last time that he got arrested, where he was flying off the deep end. When I tell you I love him, I love him. And when you have, when you love somebody, you have limits. Everybody tells me that. All my neighbors don't tell me that. Mm -hmm. The office, property manager. <laughs> At some point, somebody gets enough, and then they have to, to do something to defend themselves. I would just flee, and I don't know if you okay. would like to see it on my phone, or I think, it's, I think it's actually on a laptop. I actually, because, and you have to understand, too, I have, like, prior 
to classes in PO. Kicked him out. How many times? I had him arrested. How many times? But you also went down and bailed him I out. I know. The next day. What's I know. What's on your laptop? Um, what was I going to tell you? The detectives already know all the videos and pictures on Sarah's devices. They are horrible and damning. Sarah was too drunk to remember filming, and the detective is dying to refresh her memory. What she's asking. Mm. And she said, you went, up, you went up to bed around midnight. Midnight. Fell asleep around 1230-ish. But those are the only times I have. So I have four, and I have midnight. So there's a big gap. So I'm just curious, like, if you recall when you went upstairs to hide in the shower, or... Like when we started to play, hide mm -hmm. and seek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we went inside probably about, I had to guess, we weren't, we weren't out there too long, maybe about six-ish. So, let's go inside. I don't want to be out here anymore. Okay. All right, let's go. So, we're doing whatever. We did it for a while because that puzzle, I don't know if, if they took it or they saw it. Um, worked on the puzzle again, finished it, started to paint. Well, started listening to music for a little bit, started to paint. Uh, can we turn the music off? No problem. Start at the top, paint, whatever. Maybe, gosh, that puzzle, we worked on that for probably a good hour and a half. So, 8 o'clock-ish? Is when you went to hide upstairs originally? No, that's when we were, like, painting. So then it's like, okay, well, I, we can't, I don't want to paint anymore. Let's just, ugh, come on. Okay, you want to play hide and seek? What he does is, okay, tag, you're it. So it's like, okay, we know. Okay, take off. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. And then you went upstairs, and then he didn't come up, and you came down. And the suitcase was there originally because you guys were planning to do donations. And so it was already suitcase. there. Um, have you guys ever played the, you said you played hide and seek like probably three times in your relationship. Mm -hmm. When you have played, have you ever zipped him up in a suitcase prior? No. Okay. So it was just kind of like that prop was there, and it was there, yes. and it was in play because... Why do you say it like that, though? I would <coughs> never do that. You would never zip them up in a suitcase? It, well, I mean... I mean, we were playing. No, I know, that but, time, I'm just, but I'm saying... I'm, well, I'm talking about hide-and-seek, which is a game, so... The suitcase originally <laughs> is in our closet, buried all the way to the back. If you... I don't... I know the... CSI people saw our closet. Our closet needs to be cleaned out really bad. My son's clothes need to be cleaned out really bad because they don't fit him anymore and I'm tired of looking at them. So he took it upon himself, including that suitcase, to take it downstairs so we can get all of our clothes, our donations and everything, and just leave. One defense theory is that Jorge was thrown in the suitcase upstairs and then was thrown or kicked down the stairs locked in the bag. It seems to explain many of his injuries. Have, have you ever zipped him up in anything, jokingly or not, but obviously no. I understand, you know, you're claiming that Sunday it was a joking matter. You were laughing, yes. he was laughing. But what I'm just asking is in the past, like is it something Absolutely that you guys not. normally do? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Um, we were actually this last game running out of places to hide because we have a townhome where it's upstairs or downstairs. So, um, okay, so do you remember making any videos or maybe having any cover, anything, any t photos, videos that you remember doing on your phone on Sunday? No. <coughs> no? I um, think I took a picture of a dog. Okay. But your phone is password protected, you have the password, he has the facial recognition, so it's not like someone else could be on your phone. No, I have both. But you have the face and the password. Yes. Yeah, but he only has the face, correct? No. To be able to get onto your phone, you told me that he looks at the phone. Oh, I misunderstood. I thought you were asking if I did. Yes, it's me. Okay. Does he have access to your phone? Because you said it's yeah. your phone. Okay, how does he have access? Sarah, can I buy your phone? Yeah, it's right there on the kitchen counter. Okay, but how does he get into it because it's password protected? He'll, he'll come and get it to me and I'll just do the face thing. Where sometimes, too, like, he's, <coughs> look, he'll joke with me and say, okay, I need to borrow your phone. And he'll hold it while I'm cooking or doing something, do the facial recognition. Okay, so he doesn't know the password and he doesn't have the facial recognition. 
No, he is the only other person that would use your phone, I'm yes. assuming, other than... Well, Lucas. Right. But Lucas wasn't there Sunday. I, right. Um, so, to your recollection, no videos on Sunday? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, so, I have something that I want to show you that we found. Um, and it was from your phone. Do I have to watch this? I continuously throw up. I don't sleep. I don't want to see it, if that's okay. <coughs> as usual, it is all about her. She doesn't want to watch this as she knows how incriminating it is and it might upset her stomach. And you can either explain it or we take it for what it is. Yeah. We're just trying to give you the opportunity to tell us what's going on. That's it. <coughs> it's that long? Two minutes. No. <coughs> For everything you've done to me. Oh. Fuck you. Oh. And Fuck just, you. That's you, oh. your voice. Sarah says she doesn't want to watch anymore. The detective complies with a quiet okay and lets the audio play. So we hear Jorge's plaintive cries for Sarah in the background. Last, last time we talked to you, you had said that you put him in the suitcase, he had two fingers hanging out. And you I went flipped him over. Sarah, I, I flipped him over, and that's where it was. There's two different videos and a still picture where, yeah, it shows you flipping him in different positions and him saying that he can't breathe and you saying, fuck So you. this is upside down. So in order for him to have gotten into it... It was flipped up. Right. It was flipped up normal. Yes. Like as if you're packing something. So this is upside down. Guys, this is killing me right now. So this image is upside down. This is perfect. Only a narcissist could complain that being inconvenienced about being questioned about a murder that they clearly committed is killing me right now. And then this small video that occurred 11 minutes later, it's flipped over the other way, closer to your dining room table. Okay. Now he's obviously still in there. So he didn't, how did that, how did it go from the back to the front? I flipped it. Okay. My plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. Well, that's what you did. Yeah. But not intentional of. No, you told me you went upstairs because what? you were Stopped getting here. ready for bed. Stopped here. Okay, but here? show me where you can see any fingers coming out because there's it's, the end. It's And his head's right here. Mm -hmm. So going like this, rather than going all the way up, it's like this. But why is he saying, I can't breathe, and why is he pushing on it as if he can't get out? And it doesn't it's, show a hole. You, there's, there's no, no hole. There's no fingers. I don't see his fingers. There's no hole. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't know, like, what you want me to tell you. I'm just showing you. I'm just telling you what we see yeah. and what we've heard from the other I understand. Video. I understand. He's begging to let, for you to let him out. You sound... You're laughing in the beginning, and then in the end, it sounds kind of like a no. It's not malicious. Well, saying fuck you. It's not malicious. Then what is that? What does fuck you mean to you? Well, like if you were to, if I were to tell my oh, like he in. does. Like I get called <laughs> everything but a white woman, so. Always bring it back to you. It doesn't matter what she said to him, she gets called names too. It is always a competition with an arc. Okay. I, my intention was not to leave him in there. Please understand that. My intention was not to leave him in there. But you went upstairs thinking yeah. that he could get himself yes. out, but the video shows That's at what no I told point you. when I see his fingers. He'll and be up here any like minute. And then 30 minutes later, he didn't show. And he's telling me he can't wake breathe. Up. He, 
Do you think he's joking? To he, you told me he was laughing, and I we were before the video. There's there's no. We laughing. first got in there. Both of us were. So how long was he in there for? Like this video is at eleven twelve when it starts. So was he in there for like a long time prior to no. recording this? No. No. So it goes from funny to no longer funny. But I you're the only one laughing. But I didn't think that he was like panicky. Like I didn't I. So pushing up on a suitcase saying, Sarah, 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 I can't I breathe. Can't breathe. <laughs> George has done that in the past before, too, where it's just like he thinks that he's, woe is me kind of thing. She's now trying to say her murder victim was just being dramatic when he was struggling to breathe while she was laughing and yelling, fuck you. Nowhere in there is he laughing, is he joking, he is begging. And you're the only one laughing. Okay. And you're the only one saying derogatory comments. Like you're mad. No. Please don't. I don't mean to sound negative, and I don't know if I can say this, but <coughs> like it's like you guys are kind of trying to like feed me. Like. No, I'm just trying to show you a video that you no longer want to watch because you probably don't want to know the outcome of how and what you said. Well, I know what. You know, you know what's on that video now? No. You remember making that video? No. Oh. Why don't you remember making the video? Probably because we had been drinking. But you weren't drunk. A trait of NPD is to lie to make themselves look good in every occasion. Sarah's story is unraveling. She has said she was drunk and she wasn't. They got along great and he abused her. She is spinning. No. Just because I went upstairs and... Just you because you're drunk doesn't you mean that you... Times that you were not drunk. You said that you had your wits <coughs> about you. You said he had his wits about you. Mm -hmm. You said that you don't like not having your wits. In my experience, if somebody cannot remember doing something to the extent of making two videos and, a video and taking a photo, they are intoxicated. Okay. I understand where you all are coming from. Well, we're I just trying it. to make sense of it. We're trying to figure it. out we're what you're saying. We're trying to figure out... This you video. explain it to us. We're listening. I'm not I, assuming. I, I haven't assumed anything. I, I follow evidence. But my intention was not, again, oh good, I got him in there. Now I'm just going to go to sleep. What do you think someone that knows nothing about this or hears just a little bit like, oh, they were playing around in a suitcase She's been and, drinking then, and then watch that video? Probably went to sleep. That's what happened. But you let him out before. I mean, you put him in, so why didn't you take him out? That, because I was upstairs and I fell asleep. On a personal note, this is the most confusing game of hide-and-seek I've ever heard of. The seeker places the hider in a hiding spot? I'm confusion. My intention <coughs> is not for this to happen. I am sick about it. I've never done anything like this before in the past. I am sick, especially with that. I thought I couldn't sleep last night. I don't well, know. Well, here's the thing. You tell us the last night, you, you vividly remember this when you told us last night, that he was laughing, you were laughing, you put him in the suitcase, he has two fingers sticking out, and you go to bed. Now we see something totally different, and it actually shows you upset and, again, using uh, derogatory terms to him when he's begging for his life to get out of that suitcase. So, so what but my you thing say is we're the, assuming, we're not assuming, but we're the telling fingers, you what's on but, So it just happened to be that whenever I was videotaping or doing whatever else it was, it ha just happened to not have that in it. Okay. This has changed my life. So, I will take this. I don't know. Yeah. That's a true statement. Absolutely. But you're trying to dance around the fact that so, you but what are you on? Okay, just, just. You left them in there. You're trying to oh dance gosh, around the fact is, you left them in there. This is not. I, this, you didn't leave them in not, there? It's not cool. Like, this is not cool. It's not cool. That it, He's dead. It's but not you cool. think that I did that intentionally? You think that I did that intentionally? You intentionally left them in there and left the room. You went upstairs to a different room. You intentionally did that? You, you did. Yes. Because I'm thinking he's going to get out. Okay, and he didn't. Obviously not. When somebody's begging for their, begging, saying, I but can't But when you breathe. say that, though, but you have to, you <coughs> don't know. Please let me out. I can't Y'all don't know George, though. Like, that, that. 
Sarah is nothing if not consistent. She is more concerned over people's perception of her and if her actions were intentional than Jorge's death. No, George got in a suitcase. And you well, zipped it up. Not all the way and not intentionally to leave him there. But that's what happened. You keep going away from me. I don't know. That's, to, that's, I don't, that's I don't exactly know what happened. You went I, up I, the bed, so woke up I, the next Are bed. you all trying to have me admit that? Like, are you trying to have me admit that? Because I will never admit it because it's not okay. true. It's not true. I'm basically stating as a fact because that's what happened. To assure that everything that we've talked about is true and accurate to, to the best, best of that person's knowledge. It's not a trick question. To the best of my knowledge. To the best of your knowledge. Everything that you've told us today is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. Yes, but it was not intentional. Okay. Okay. All right, do me a favor, stand up. <coughs> I need you to turn around, face the wall. Put your hands behind your back. Do you have anything in your pockets that I should know about? Okay. Thank you for joining me tonight at a look at Sarah Boone's interrogation. And if she shows us any traits, of narcissistic personality disorder. I think she might. Her trial was supposed to start yesterday, but has been delayed once again. Sarah is a handful. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe and maybe grab a channel membership. You might have forgotten, and you might need a new one to get in the Discord to get more true crime stories, and maybe a vlog now and again. Thank you so much for joining me. From Rio and I, have a wonderful evening. We can't wait to see you again. Don't forget to be kind and hasta luego.